good evening everyone good evening guys i hope i am clearly audible visible to you all well so guys this is komal gamblani santani here i welcome you all on yours only favorite channel that is dhruvika academy where we are running an amazing series of previous year questions and exam oriented questions so that you can have an edge over all such pattern of questions so guys as you all of you know very well that in the previous sessions i started with a very important yet confusing topic for some of the students that is permutations and combinations i started with some basic plus pyqs of pnc i hope you have watched the two previous sessions and practiced the questions as well so today we are going to discuss some more interesting patterns so let's begin our today's session and before we proceed let me just remind you some very important details regarding our batch that is samrat pgct 2024 specially for mca and mba aspirants so guys we have already started our batch at dhruvika academy where we are providing you a number of features like live classes to interact with the faculties directly and clear your doubts then and then if you missed the class you have a backup of recorded classes that you can watch on our app that is dhruvika academy that you can download from play store and along with the entire syllabus coverage we are providing you class test practice test 50 plus mock test and most important guys the timings of the classes are after your college timing so you can watch the lectures at the comfort of your home without any overlapping of both the classes and if you join with us now you get an automatic access to all the upcoming batches till the exam and we are assuring you 100% results so guys if you haven't yet joined us then join us today and start your preparations because exams are very very near so to join us you should first of all get yourself registered with us on the number provided in the link also do join our whatsapp group where you'll get all the details notifications regarding the upcoming exams test everything every important update every important notification you will find in our whatsapp group along with the telegram channel where you will find the pdfs of the youtube sessions and lots of more stuff so make sure that you join our whatsapp group and telegram channel as well as and yes do subscribe us on youtube channel also so that you may know who is going to take which subjects revision or classes on the channel and guys the cost for the batch is also very nominal it's rupees 3000 for mba aspirants and it's rupees 3500 for mca aspirants so cost too much nominal but a variety of features you are getting on it so quickly join us and start your preparations so let's begin our today's session guys again some more important questions and patterns will be covering today so i believe the previous session is very clear in your mind where we discussed this very important question of triangle word where first was the case where they said the letters of the angle should be together and in the second case they said that angle word should always be present so they were very particular about the sequence of the letters in the second scenario then we did some uh, unique cases related to the word mathematics right okay now let's do some more questions today related to words okay in the upcoming session i'll bring some more questions related to digits also numbers and digits and yes as i said you yesterday as i said you yesterday that do comment in the comment box or in the live chat that what all topics you guys are expecting from me to bring on this free channel free of cost channel so that you may get comfortable with the topics and you are able to score well on that okay so do comment in the live chat or in the comment box whatever you feel better okay so let's start okay so <clears throat> anant kumar hello student good to see you here 
आई होप यू हैव वॉच द प्रीवियस सेशन एंड यू हैव इवन सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन सो डू लेट मी नो वट ऑल टॉपिक्स यू आर एक्सपेक्टिंग फ्रॉम मी इन द फर्दर सेशन ओके सो लेट स्टार्ट आर टूडे सेशन विद दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ टूडे सेशन ऑन योर स्क्रीन सी वॉट इज इट सेंग इन हाउ मेनी वेज लेटर्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वॉयलेंट कैन बी अरेंज सो दैट वॉवल्स ऑक्यूपाई even places only what are they saying vowels should occupy even places so first of all you need to see what was our first duty when we were doing the questions of permutations our first duty was to see whether any letter repeats whether any letter repeats yes or no quickly observe it i believe there is no letter that is repeating so fair enough we are done with the first step now second step count the number of letters available with you that's 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 right so seven letters you have with you right and which are unique among themselves no repetition so our first two steps done now what are they saying they have given you the condition see if there would hand if there would haven't be any condition in how many ways you can arrange the letters of the word violent you have seven letters and seven letters can be arranged in how many ways seven factorial ways if there would have been no condition okay how seven factorial came we are already clear with this in our previous sessions now with respect to the condition given in the question they are saying vowels should occupy even places only okay so first let's find out how many even places we have and how many uh vowels do we have okay so all in all we have seven letters so we have seven places okay we have seven places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 4 so condition is with respect to what even places so which are the even places 2 4 and 6 these are the even places so what do they want they want that vowels should sit on this even places only they shouldn't sit on odd places that is 1 3 5 and 7 they shouldn't sit on those odd places okay this is what they are saying so let's find out how many vowels do we have for filling this three positions for filling this three even positions right so observe the word how many vowels do we have see v is a consonant v is a consonant i is a vowel then o then l is a consonant e is a vowel then n and then t okay so basically we have three vowels and we have three even places also so the picture is very simple if there would have been more places if there would have been more places and less vowels then there would have arisen a, uh, a situation of selecting a situation of selecting okay it will come in some other questions in the next few questions in next few minutes we'll discuss that case also so here we have three even places and we have three vowels same places also same and number of vowels available to fill the places also same so it's quite easy okay so see so we don't want to select we already have equal number of places and equal number of letters to fill those places so vowels are going to sit on second fourth and sixth position okay three positions right now they can sit only these three positions in how many ways can these three vowels sit on this three positions is it's definitely three factorial ways it's definitely what three factorial ways see if you want to uh, add the tadka of selection here you can even do that ultimately it will give you the value one only what is that tadka see we have three places three even places 2 4 and 6 okay and we have three letters okay we have three letters so exactly three letters three places 
we don't want to select the places because the numbers are same but if the places would have been more and letters available would have been less then selection would have taken place that's which three position we are going to choose in that case the selection using the formula of selection would have been more appropriate okay here also you can use the formula of selection that is 3c3 you have three places and you have three options to fill so that is 3c3 you can write here and 3c3 is nothing but it is equal to 1 only so this thing is for what vowels this thing is for what vowels okay now consonants you are left with four consonants you are left with four consonants now in how many ways these four consonants can be arranged on remaining four places four factorial ways in how many ways four factorial ways right okay now there would be doubt in your mind that ma'am why can't we uh, simply write 7 factorial why can't we write it as 7 factorial my dear students because they have given you a particular situation that 3 letters should sit on that 3 such such letters should sit on even places only so we'll make them sit on 2nd 4th and 6th position in how many ways they can be arranged 3 places three letters they could be arranged in three factorial ways right now remaining four places to be filled by four letters they could be arranged in four factorial ways okay that's why we cannot use the seven factorial term directly okay so i believe this is very clear in your mind right so what will be the answer guys what will be the answer so what is three factorial three factorial is six and what is four factorial 24 so 24 into 6 is equal to what 144 that is option a that is option a okay okay uh, screen is not visible to you guys just check is this screen clearly visible to you I think it's not scrolling just give me a minute I'll just see what has happened just give me a minute 